This week on Meet the Duo, we hear from the lads on the status of their current crisis. Will they move their weekly online concerts from Saturday nights to Sunday afternoon, or will they defy the naysayers and stay the course? Opinions are varied, and tempers are rising in what could be a summer's long debate over S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y night, or keeping the Sabbath oh. From Eminem Studios, the shortest running show in internet history. This is Meet the Duo with Rick Swalwell. I'm joined once again by my special guests, James Moores and Cork McCumber. Let's get right to it, fellas. Moores and McCumber have been hosting a Saturday night concert now weekly for some three months. For patrons who have subscribed to your Patreon page, I understand that due to a conflict beyond your control last week, you performed on Sunday. We've had word that you received feedback that many patrons liked that change to Sunday afternoon and, in fact, have asked that you shift to Sundays in the future. James, now you have been quoted in your brilliant linguistics, as always, if it ain't broke, why well, fix it? What do you have to say about that? Well, Rick, let me start out by just saying thank you for having me back on your program. It's always a great honor to be with you and to discuss these matters with court in a civil manner as opposed to the usual back and forth we might have in that van he's in that ultimately just leads to the next town. So, <laughs> listen, let's be honest. We've been hosting this weekly concert on Saturday nights now for, what, 12 weeks? Uh, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. The fans have expressed their appreciation time and time again. We have uh, been having a wonderful time with our community. Uh, people know what to expect, when to expect it, even though it's unexpected. And I project that if we made an exception to these expectations, folks may expect future exceptions to become an expectation. And I expect that that would become frustratingly confusing. I have no idea what you just said. Uh, Cor, for your part, it seems you have uh, embraced this move to the concept of a Sunday afternoon concert. Obviously, given that it's the big 4th of July weekend, it makes sense to move to Sunday, June, July 5th at 5 p.m. Central. What do you have to say about moving all future concerts to Sunday afternoon? Well, it's great to be with you, Rick. Look, let's talk about what we know. Does time really matter? Do days of the week matter anymore? Does wearing pants matter? I mean, listen, we have the greatest fans from Middleburg to Menominee, from the Front Range to the North Shore and from Connacht to Cuba. They've followed us everywhere. I don't see a reason why they just wouldn't follow us from Saturday to Sunday. Now, Court, some people are saying that the time change from 7 p.m. Central to 5 p.m. Central is the real issue behind the issue. What do you have to say about that? Well, Rick, I think anyone who knows me knows that as long as it's five o'clock somewhere, I'm going to be just fine. Sure, there may be some confusion about whether to have a meal before or after the concert, but a happy hour is a happy hour is a happy hour, if you know what I mean. And let's be honest, the greatest challenge we face is do these patients understand time zones? And look, if we're really being honest, I mean... Listen, if I could just jump in here, I don't, I don't believe that I ever said that we couldn't be happy on a Sunday. I, I don't want to get into name calling here, Richard Cortman. That's beneath us, but I, I think we should bring this to the patrons and see what they want to do. Well, that uh, leads me to my final question this week, gentlemen. And uh, James, maybe I'll start with you, and then we'll give Court the last word because we know that's the way it always is, right? You have both committed to performing this Sunday, July 5th, at 5 p.m. Central for your patrons via Zoom. Now, going forward, how will the decision be made on whether you play Saturdays or Sundays, or as Court said, Tuesday morning. Well, Rick, we have a great tradition here in the music business, and I think it's time to embrace it once again. You know, give the people what they want. And I think we need to bring it to the patrons and ask uh, for their input and take this thing to a vote. I believe in the democracy of our community, and I trust that the good people of the M&M Patreon do know the d distinct difference between a Saturday and a Sunday, and given the choice, they'll know what to do. Court, final thoughts. Well, I've 
spent my entire career crossing the aisle and reaching out to fans on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and as you said, Rick, Tuesday mornings. I mean, I think that what the people really don't understand is that it doesn't really matter which day of the week it is. Sunday works great for me, and that's that's all that matters. At the end of the day, it's like we're just going to play our instruments, sing our songs, and, 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 and bring some entertainment to people. And the thing about the time is like, I don't think anybody would really care about it. You just, if you just got rid of clocks, there'd be no time zone. So that's, I mean, it doesn't matter. That's all I gotta say. Well, we'll need to leave it there as that's all the time we have today. Thank you gentlemen for being with us. James Moores, Court McCumber. Thank you patrons for watching and for supporting the lads. We'll be back again next week because if it's a duo, it's always a compromise. Just launch it. Launch it, thanks Rick. Clear. Who booked these Yahoos? God, Smith, Tim Smith, Ronaldo. If we get a call from Tim Smith, you block it. You understand me, Capiche? No line. My my career is going down the toilet.